What is up guys, it is Valkyr, and let's jump straight into it talking about the patch which launched on the 26th of July 2016. This was a hero balancing patch, mainly aimed at Anna and McCree. On the 19th of July 2016, McCree got himself a nice little buff which gave him the ability to do damage at longer ranges than he was able to do before, minus the beta one, he could do damage at every range and basically one shot a tank. Now, this became a little bit of a problem, he was a little bit too strong, the community recognised this uh, and said hey, you know, he's a bit too powerful, so let's do something about it. So this patch that came out today on the 26th, or yesterday on the 26th, basically put McCree a bit more in line. So let's go through some of the patch notes for McCree. So McCree's primary weapon, his Peacemaker, the left click on that, the primary fire, has had a damage fall off and its range has been decreased by 10 meters. This means you're going to need to be closer to do more damage. No longer can you be further away and do full damage or you just have to be really accurate if you're at a distance. But now you have to once again be a little bit closer with McCree to get that damage in. You can notice this, the gameplay that's happening right now that you can see is actually from the patch. At a distance, I'm trying to take down a Bastion, and I'm definitely putting more shots in him today than I was a couple of days ago. McCree's secondary fire, his fan the hammer, has also had a speed increase of 15%, so it shoots out quicker. Another example of that in the video now as well. Uh, it's been less popular recently to use fan the hammer, especially when the damage had a huge drop off from about 70 damage per bullet to about 35, 30, 35. So less people were actually using it. It was more effective to throw a flashbang and then just aim for the head and do a left click shot. So McCree's flashbang recovery time, also known as when he throws a flashbang, when can he start shooting, has been decreased from 0.5 milliseconds to 0.35. So he'll throw a flashbang and he will now be able to start shooting quicker than he did in the last patch. So this summarizes McCree's changes on the patch. I think he's still going to become a played hero, but only time can tell on that one. Now we're going to take a look at Mother Dear Anna to see her changes. Alright, so Anna has had some small changes, but they're very effective. Her biotic rifle now shoots 20% faster, and her magazine size has been changed from 8 to 10, which means she can now fire 10 bullets into sh either shooting the enemy or what you're supposed to be doing, shooting your own team and healing them. She can now fire them faster. She, she pretty much effectively becomes the, the most effective healer in the game if you can hit all of your shots. But that's the thing, right? Whereas other healers like Zenyar to have the the orb that can stick onto somebody and it'll heal them without you needing to do anything if you can you get rewarded for being able to aim with Anna so the better you can aim the more you can shoot your team the more you can heal them and help them out in situations I still believe Anna is going to become a super powerful hero played in the right composition with the right team so let's brush over the rest of the patch notes. There's not many left on this one. The big ones were just the hero changes. So bug fixes, we're looking at Anna's sleep dart. So when Anna uses her sleep dart on the enemy, they will go to sleep. And if they get hit, they wake up straight away. And previously in the last patch, they were able to start shooting right away. So the recovery time uh, was, th they basically didn't have a recovery time. It was just instant. Now there is a 0.5 second recovery time. So when an enemy wakes up, they can't instantly shoot for half a second. Also, we're looking at user interfaces, so fixed UI compatibility issues for ATI cards, I guess they mean AMD cards, uh, and fixed a bug that would sometimes cause Lucio May and other models to only partially render or disappear. Actually has happened to me, also happened to me with Zenyatta. Also, maybe I should report this bug to them, but there was a Zenyatta going around and all I could see was part of his skin. But it's quite weird that some of the heroes would only partially render. Like, I was, there was Lucio's going around, all I could see would be his gun uh, and maybe his skates. It was quite weird, but I'm glad that has been patched because obviously that of course issues, especially that I've been playing in competitive with it. So that brings us to the end of the patch notes for the patch landed 26th of July 2016. Hopefully you've been able to understand Understand what I've explained make sure to drop a subscribe thumbs up and a comment if you've got something to put into this maybe uh, put your thoughts about the McCree patch if you feel like he's still gonna be viable I feel like he definitely needed buff brought him more in line so that's a good thing makes it a little bit fairer um, and we'll go from there guys thank you so much for watching make sure to uh, watch some of my other videos as well and I look forward to having you back on another video